going on ladies and gents? Uh, welcome back to another Lift the Larrikins video. Today we're going to be installing a Radius Fab airbox on the big 80 bus behind me. So yeah, this is a little tutorial on how to do it. We'll see how it goes. Never done it before, but it's pretty straightforward. So for those who don't know, this is my 97 1HZ 80 series uh, with an aftermarket turbo. Um, yeah, it's due for an airbox. I mean, this is actually a 1FZ airbox. Uh, we just made it work because my old one was just crushed here, like crushed down to about one inch intake. So yeah, we put a 1FZ box on it and runs like normal, but I'm just sick of that and I want more noises. So put that big boy in and uh, hopefully it does something pretty cool. Here's a new airbox. Uh, as I said, pod filter, airbox, radius fab. Like this thing is just super schmicko the welds in this thing are just absolutely immaculate um they just killed it as usual big aeroflow so yeah we're gonna be putting this bad boy into uh, this bad boy yeah so rip the old one out and put the new one in should be that straightforward it should be as simple as undoing these little fellas down here um disconnecting it here and just ripping the dog out. So I've now taken out one, two, and there's another one down there, three bolts. Disconnected the vacuum lines, disconnected it here. So theoretically, oh, also I've disconnected it at the snorkel. Theoretically, this whole air box should just pull straight out. There's your air box out. But now you're just left with this. I'd suggest chucking a rag in the intake just so no little rodents get down there and no dust and whatnot. But yeah, a bit bare. I'm gonna actually clean all this up uh, just so it's not disgusting. And then, yeah, we'll get to bolting that bad boy up. Just tried to do a bit of a test fit and ran into the issue that this little box is in the way. So what I'm gonna do is just pull it up and undo it from there and try and relocate it a bit further back this way. So it's out of the way. So it's magically night time. I uh, had to go run some errands and now I'm back. But the current issue is uh, the airbox sits in there. I just got to tuck these away. Um, it'll fit. Got to mess with this a bit more, tuck that away. So one of the things uh, I have to do is I have to get rid of this junk. Uh, I've now realized that this silicon here is super, super, super squishy. Uh, so, I didn't even realize it, but I reckon when I, when I get onto boost, that probably compresses and shrinks under under pressure. So I've got to replace that. So what I'm doing right now is ripping out this oil, uh, this oil drain, and then take all the kit off and assess it then. So it's magically daytime again. Did a little bit of fiddling last night. Did a little bit of problem solving and thinking um, on what I can actually do. The airbox is pretty much situated how it how it should be here. Uh, lines up with all the holes. A bit hard to see. Um, this aircon line just goes directly in front. So that's not fantastic. I fixed the issue um, of the cables down the side here. Just zip tied it to the battery pretty much. Um, still gonna mount this box up, but that's all right. That can be a later job once I get everything a bit more permanent. So what I'm gonna be doing uh, in terms of connections is there's gonna be a four inch, cause this is a four inch outlet, four inch to three inch reducer, um, which will then plumb up to the 90 degree caster um, fitting that I had, which has the oil line, which is now down here. Uh, that usually connects to the 90 degree off of a fitting. And then it'll connect it back up to the existing little 90 plumbed fitting down the bottom there. So yeah, at the moment, I'm just waiting on parts, but yeah, slowly coming along. Welcome back. I have a filmer for me now. Um, this is day three because parts haven't arrived and yeah, all the rest of it. So the current mission is, if you pan over here, cameraman, we've got the air box situated where it wants to sit. I'm just greasing up these bolts to put them in and sort of temporarily mount it. And then we're just going to try and plumb it up to the turbo. So, yeah, the um, silicon we ordered is the wrong size. It's a little bit too big. <laughs> so we're going to just 
tighten the hose clamps down on the, on the dog and uh, hopefully it'll seal well enough. So you want to try and uh, strip the bolt and cross thread it because then it will never come out. You know it's in there securely. A 12 mil doesn't want to get in. That's in there, little test fit. Now we're gonna try and plumb up these hoses and uh, yeah, and it'll be pretty much done. The snorkel, this is the main issue, come down here. Um, it's a custom snorkel, so whoever made it uh, did not do a great job. They should have pulled it through the guard here, but nevertheless, I've got to chop this bit of my quarter panel out. So then the big silicon hose will fit there and wrap in underneath there. So it's raining a little bit too much for my liking. We've sourced this big umbrella and uh, trying to cover a little bit of the engine bay so it doesn't get completely soaked. Hello. I need to try and measure the length of this downpipe that goes down to the turbo. Ugh. I probably should have a tape measure. Guesstimating. We'll cut it at 17 just because I don't know. I'm a bit scared to cut too much because I have to go buy a new piece. So let's get cutting. Oh, there we go. Get the scissors in there. This is about to be the most non straight cut you've ever seen in your life. This is boring content. Oh yeah, I'll put I'll put sick music over it though. Eats wah, my bra. All right, let's get this dog going. It's a nice jumper. Where can you get them? Liftedlarrikins.com. That's the one. Oh. <coughs> I think I need to cut a little bit more off. Uh -uh. In my heart, in my head, tell me what to have to wear. <laughs> so, for reference, this is the old piece, and whoever cut this must have been blind in one eye because it's really wonky. But nevertheless, are you sure you want people watching you cut things <laughs> with scissors? I'll speed it up, dude. Don't worry, I can edit it. Ah! Oh, bust up. No, it's okay. Oh, plenty of room left. No, I refuse to watch you do this again. Stop. Open wide. <laughs> Look how small that is. Welcome back. All right, <laughs> test fit number 55. Oh, we might be on. Hello. So, get your corn out of here. <laughs> we, we pretty much hooked it up. Um, I just don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a big enough hose clamp right now, so I just threw a zip tie on there so I can go to the shop and get a bigger hose clamp. Um, but now we're just gonna pull these off. You know, it'd be cool if, like, at this point, you do a more like a montage. Yeah, but like it'll be in fast motion, so you like, brr, 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 like a NASCAR drill. <laughs> oh, all right, ready? Take two, take two, take two. Ready? So unsatisfying. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is sexy. It looks too shiny to be in this engine bay. Uh, all right, so it's pretty much all plumbed up besides this, this bit here. It wasn't too hard to do. It's just, I needed all the right fittings. And then once I had all the right fittings, it was pretty easy. But yeah, we'll start it up. It's, I haven't plumbed up the snorkel yet, just for the fact that I need to trim my quarter panel um, and I need to get a different fitting to go here, like a 45. So it won't have it won't have full induction noises, but you'll still be able to hear it purr a little bit. So yeah, let's get it fired up. So it's been a couple of weeks to be honest. Uh, I've just had some things pop up, but the air box is all installed, connected up to the snorkel and uh, we'll give you a little sound check and yeah, start it up. So it's probably going to be pretty loud, but uh, cars will start it up. Show you what we've done in the engine bay. Here she is. All plumbed up. to 
warm up and then uh, we'll go for a little drive in it and try and get some clips. So yeah, I definitely recommend doing this. Uh, the Radius Fab Airbox is just unreal. Uh, like exceptional quality on the box, all the welds and everything. Um, it definitely helps with the airflow going to the turbo. It sorted out a lot of the issues for me. I was having air intake issues and restrictions and stuff, which you saw that um, inlet pipe was just, just crunched and munched. So I hope you can hear me fine. It's pretty, it's pretty echoey and loud in here. So yeah, I'll try and get a few driving clips. Like it's definitely changed the overall note of the car. Just an added, added bonus really. It, uh, so yeah, it's a lot gruntier and throatier and you can tell a lot more air is going to that turbo, which is what I wanted uh, as an end goal anyways. Uh, just a quick little update while I'm here, waiting for the car to warm up. I actually am selling this car. Um, by the time this video goes up, it'll probably be sold. Um, just because I've got something in store, something a little bit different. So yeah, I'm, I'm selling it. I want to basically start over and um, build a car up, do something a little bit different, put a bit of money into it. So yeah, you'll have to stay tuned for that one. And then also while I'm here, I'll say we've got a um, new design dropping soon for our merchandise. Uh, awesome graphic, it's just being worked on right now. It's probably up by the time uh, this video goes up. But yeah, so jump on the website. We've got a new supplier, new design. Uh, got stubbies are out, stickers as always. So yeah, if you want a um, lifted larrikin sticker like that one, jump on the website and grab yourself one. So yeah, we're gonna go for a drive now, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay up to date with us. We're planning on doing some bigger things in the future, but it's all uh, pretty difficult at the moment. We're all pretty tied up with our full-time jobs. Yeah, just keep posted, Instagram, YouTube. Yeah, see you in the next one. This is sort of hard to film, because like I'm in the middle of the city. I don't wanna, <laughs> don't wanna get pulled over, but. So I just went out <laughs> to record some videos, but there was just way too many police around. Uh, I'm in the middle of the city right now, so I'll do I'll do a few little a few little revs for you, but I don't know about pulls, so sorry about that one. Um, don't want to risk getting the defect literally the day before I sell the car.